Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to go over the time remapping option in After Effects. Uh, it's a very powerful thing that you can do uh, if you want to have more control over the timing of your animation uh, and also any pre-comped animations or footage. And this is particularly useful when you're using templates in your workflow because the files were not made by you, they were made by someone else. Instead of having to go through the entire project and figure out the keyframes and the timing, you can just pre-comp an animation and apply time remapping and you can have a little bit more control over the timing. In this example, I'm going to use our text messaging After Effects template. And what I wanna do is these uh, boxes, there's about 40 boxes in here that are animated. And I don't want all 40 to animate. I just wanna animate up to maybe 30 seconds or a minute of this animation. Then I want it to stop. So what we're going to do is go into this render comp. And again, I have this pre-comped. I'm going to go to about 45 seconds here. And let's say this is where I want it to stop. So we're going to right click on our pre-comp layer. We're going to go to time, enable time remapping. And let me zoom out here. And as you can see, time remapping has been applied and there are two keyframes. There's one that's set zero and there's one at the very, very end of this timeline. So what this does is gives you the ability to animate time. So we're going to go to our time code display in our timeline and type 45. And now we're exactly at 45 seconds. And now we're going to add a keyframe and all you do is just click this uh, diamond in the timeline. There we go. And now nothing's really changed, even though something is keyframed at 45 and it's on 45. So now we're going to go to our last keyframe and we're going to click on this blue diamond and that will remove that keyframe. So now when we get to 45, we'll just have a still frame. And as you can see in the time remapping, it's for at set at 45 seconds, so, so it stays as a still frame. Now, what happens if you select this keyframe and move it? You'll see that in our time remapping in the timeline, you'll see that the time is changing, it's actually slowing down. So that's what happens when you set keyframes at a different point in the timeline than what time remapping actually reflects. So if we go back to 45 and move that keyframe back, everything should play normally like it was before. And conversely, if you move this keyframe uh, over to the left, a little closer to zero, you'll notice that's going to play a lot faster than real time. Let's say we move this keyframe over to around 15 seconds. You'll see it's going to display 45 seconds of this animation in a 15 second timeline. So one more thing, if we go back to 45 seconds and we have our keyframe there, uh, let's say we want this to start back up again. What we can do is set another keyframe, just click our little blue diamond here, and now we're going from, we're playing this through from zero to 45, and then it's staying on 45. Notice how this isn't moving. And then if you set another keyframe at the very end, for the same exact time that our timeline ends, which is this time, 3.14.07, 3.14.07. Now it's going to play 15 seconds faster because we have a little 15 second time frame where it's sitting still. If you want this to go back to real time, what you'll need to do is right click on this tab, go to the composition settings and add some time in here. So let's just add 20 more seconds. Let's zoom out. And what we'll do is extend this layer and then we'll move this keyframe over. So now after this 45 second keyframe, it will start playing back up again. There we go. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I hope that this gave you a little bit better understanding of how time remapping works and how you can apply it to your workflow and After Effects.